Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you my painstaking multi-layered approach to making this resin ocean tray. Let's get started. Okay, so today I am going to take this tray um, that I got from the thrift store. Um, it needs a little bit of sanding, um, so I'm going to do that and I'm going to um, tape off the edges because um, it's just in case because I'm going to try to, I did a test, a test sample of, um, of this to try to do a wave um, resin wave pattern, ocean pattern, um, and try to do that on the bottom of this. So my plan is to take uh, the first layer, do a layer of clear resin, and then do the waves, and I'm going to try to put a little bit of sand with some shells on the edge, and then when all of it's done, I'm going to put a layer of clear resin over it, and then I will seal uh, the wood on the outside. Um, and I'm hoping it's going to work. Uh, it's a little bit, it is a little bit rough here on the edges. So first step is to get this all sanded down and um, I'm hoping it works. Um, I'm not really experienced with this. Um, okay, so I've varnished, I've sanded and varnished it. If you can see it's a bit smoother now and I've also distressed the bottom a little bit um, with a black just because um, I just wanted it not to be, I, because this might be a little bit translucent with the prick, with the pigments, um, I just didn't want too much of the wood to, to show through and I wanted to darken it a little bit. So um, what I'm going to do now is I am going to, I've, I've chosen some different things to use there. So I've got my, um, this is the perlap, so that'll give it some shimmer. Um, and then I've got both the um, pigments um, resin pigments and then I've also got these powdered pigments uh, and I've got a variety of colors so they've got some sparkle in them too um, and then I've got uh, these which are um, silicone and I'm going to use these for mixing and um, and then I've got my silicone measuring cup here uh, again what you can do with, with this is once you mix the resin in this it's got the how much on the side it's got the measuring and then um, I have one-to-one, -one. the magic resin is one-to-one, -one. Um, hardener with epoxy. Um, and so I can just mix it all up in here and then I can separate it into batches. And I'm thinking these might be a bit too small, so I'm gonna get um, a little bit of bigger containers. Uh, I'm gonna tape, finish taping off the bottom of this so that in case it leaks, although the varnish that I put on probably has sealed it but just to be safe I will tape off the bottom edges um, I've got some shells and starfish and a little bit of sand and I've got some pebbles here and then I've looked at to make sure that it's level and so I've just got one of these little uh, stir sticks underneath one side here and that brings me up to level okay so with that I'm going to um, mix up some resin and uh, we'll get underway. All right, so here we are. I've laid out some of the rocks and some shells and starfish. And I've got all my supplies ready. And um, I've also got a heat gun or blowtorch uh, to take the bubbles out. And we're all level. So let's get started with the mixing. Um, so first things first, using the magic resin, we're gonna measure it in here. I need 200 milligrams um, according to the instructions to cover this, but I'm gonna do a little bit more because I think um, it's gonna need a little bit more than what they suggested and I'd rather have a little bit too much than not enough. So um, I'm gonna put in right now, 100 milliliters of the um, epoxy. So let's just take a look here. Pour it in. Right. 
some more on that. A little bit more. Okay, so now I'm at 100, so I'm just kind of pouring in a little bit more. And I'll do the same when I get to the hardener. Okay, so just get that to stop dripping. Close this off. And here we go with the hardener. That should be good. Now, it says to mix it for three minutes. Hey Siri, time for three minutes. Three minutes, starting now. Now you'll notice as you're stirring, you're gonna get bubbles and we're gonna try to take the bubbles out with the um, heat gun with the blowtorch there. Um, but you want to make sure you're scraping the sides to make sure you're getting all of it mixed in. Um, and I like to do it slowly um, just because it reduces the number of bubbles. If you do it too fast, you're going to get a lot more. Uh, you're get, Inevitably, you're going to get bubbles, but the, f the fewer you can do, the better. But just make sure you definitely um, get everything mixed in. It'll start to get clearer as the... Um, as the resin, the hardener, and the epoxy mix together. And so here we go. It's not quite mixing together yet. It's still a little stringy, like you'll see little strings or looks cloudy in there. I'm not sure if you can see that. So I'm gonna fast forward now. And when we're done, the three minutes, uh, we'll start to pour. Okay, so I finished um, stirring the resin and I've let it stand for about five minutes and you'll see there's still a lot of bubbles in there, but a lot less than um, there was when I first started. So, and don't worry, I'm gonna blowtorch a lot of them out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start just by pouring um, some clear over this section here, just so that I can, um, just they'll be secured down and it is going to run this way because it's it's not um it hasn't hardened enough yet but this will just help to um, secure them into place and it will level itself out and i'm going to put some sand in here take some sand and I've mixed two kinds of sand here because I didn't really like um, the color of sand so I did put some white sparkly sand in with some regular sand um, and I'm hoping it looks okay. We might make sure it doesn't run too far this way. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of sand. It will, it will fall to the bottom anyway. up 
um, the colors into the resin. So I've, I've divided it into um, some equal parts. So I'm going to start with the dark stuff. Um, so I'm hoping you'll be able to see this on camera. But um, just going to get um, my spoon here. I'll maybe just get, um, I'll just get a little bit of this. So. I haven't used this before, this color anyway. I've used this for other things, but this is a pretty dark. So we'll put in some of that, and I'm going to use some of the sapphire blue um, resin pigment as well. Might need to add more, but we'll see. Actually, I might add a bit more anyway. Look at that rich color. Oceany that looks. Okay, that's that one. And we'll put this away. And let's do now uh, this one and this one. So I've got this uh, color, and this is peacock blue. So we'll see how this uh, mixes up. that looks look at it and so shiny and got like sparkly in it look at that beautiful color so rich okay that'll work out just great and we'll try which ones together here now got this one it's uh, just blue and I've also got sky blue which maybe not the sky blue green like a turquoise here so let me do these two together so this is the blue um, maybe I should do the sky blue some alcohol wipes. Okay, this is very turquoisey. Look at that nice color here. Nice. Okay, oopsie. I want to put that on there. Hmm, that's too 
too bad. Okay. Okay, so far I'm liking those. And then we want one that's a little bit greenish, so I think this one. And then I've got the green ore, although I do have the Perlex, which is uh, it's also powdery. Hmm. Let's see what this looks like. Hmm, that's pretty greeny. Might need a tad bit of blue in there. So I might try a bit of this Perlex in there to see how that works out. So I've got my four main colors here, and it's been sitting a bit, so it has thickened up, which is nice. I'm going to put them over here, start with my darkest one, and this one will be the white, but I'm actually going to use, um, I think I'm going to use uh, acrylic white. All right, so let's just start here. It's a bit nerve-wracking, but let's do it. So there we go. Leave that for now. All right, let's start to pour. for that one for now. Put that aside and I'm just going to heat it up a bit because it looks like it's starting to, I just want it to move around a little bit. So 
beautiful. I love it. Lovely color. Oops. All right, let's give it a go. Heat up that color a little bit. Okay. Now we're to color number three. Oh, just beautiful. Look at this. And last, but certainly not least, this greeny kind of jade color. around. I am going to heat it up again. probably going to need to mix up a second batch um, and do another layer but but so far I'm liking the colors and um, I'll just do my white now so I just need to get some white okay here I am all right and let's mix it up Okay, so now that I've poured the white and I've warmed it up and I put some in here just to make it look like the waves were crashing along the beach, now I'm going to move it, move it around. first layer and we'll come in and I'll do another layer um, after this one has all dried off and um, yeah so far I really like the colors it looks pretty nice there you go come in for a closer look
All right, so we'll come back in um, 24 hours. Okay, so it's the next day and it's, it's cured, the resin. And um, what I did is I just, last night before I went to bed, it was just a little bit tacky. And what I did is I added a few more uh, starfish and a few more shells in here. And I did add, I found yesterday, some of this um, sand and it's um, kind of a darker color sand. And I, I know that during, uh, or sorry, along the, along the edges of the beaches where the sand is wet, it's a little bit darker. So I just added one line of the darker sand here. Um, and so the, the plan today is I'm going to um, do another layer because what I do want to do is cover all of this so that um, there's a clear layer above this um, so that, you know, it's a tray. So we want to be able to put things flat on here. And I'm going to do, um, I've decided I'm going to use only the alcohol inks today for the second layer um, with obviously the white again and hopefully that will allow some of the beautiful um, kind of colors that are underneath um, will shine through because this is way more translucent so um, but you can see there's a few spots here uh, up close here you can see there's a few spots that are you can almost see through to the wood on the bottom so I think a second layer will help to make sure but it looks so far I'm just loving the looks and the colors it's so um, it looks almost like um, shiny and um, you can see those mica powders in there and uh, they're just they're just beautiful the tones in this um, you know like the the uh, the gem the gem colors um, so I'm gonna uh, start that today so I'm gonna mix up another uh, 200 milliliters of the epoxy resin and I will um, get my um, uh, alcohol inks uh, ready and um, we'll go from there but um, uh, you won't need to watch me do this I will turn this back I will record again once I'm ready to do the pouring so stay tuned okay so I'm gonna start out with by putting um, another layer of clear here uh, especially because some of that sand has not been um, it's just clear I just need to make sure I get enough to cover everything right to the edges and uh, I know it's gonna run down anyway I might have to mix up a bit more and do one final layer after this but Anyway, we'll just do this and it's pr pretty runny right now because I didn't really wait long enough for it to start to set. Um, so we'll see how this goes and how far it runs down. Let's put a little tiny, tiny bit here. All right. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need one more layer, I think. That's okay. I have lots of resin, so that's that's the one good thing is it's expensive, but I think it's um once you have a good quantity of it, it actually goes a long way. Um, okay, so so far I'm liking that. We'll just make sure I get the the sand here. And right to the edges. All right, I'll let that um, set back to the bottom. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up my alcohol inks here. Okay, so you can see just with the alcohol inks how translucent this is. And so it should be able to show um, a little of the paint that's underneath and the layers that are underneath. So I'm just going to mix this up. And uh, you can see that the clear has already run way, way too far here. I'm actually thinking I might go like this a bit. So we definitely want it to stay on that end of the board. Um, 
anyway, let's start with the with the blue. The dark blue. Kind of the darkest part of the ocean. So we'll start here. We always want to put a little bit in this part because the ocean colors mix together a bit. So um, this will give some of those dark streaks into the next color. Taking a pretty big chance here that this is going to work out. I did like the first layer, but hopefully it'll look nice when we're done. Good thing about about. Um, resin as it does self-level so So layer two is dry, as you can see. Uh, it's looking pretty good, but um, what I think I need to do is one more layer because this part over on this side is um, still not level. And so I've got um, my resin um, cups ready here uh, and my colors. And I think I'm gonna do the same as what I did underneath. I also wanna try to make the um, waves on the last level a little um, less, fewer waves. Um, so I'm gonna try to change it up a bit. So again, I'm just gonna mix up my resin and I'll be back. So I've got my four colors mixed up. So there's the darkest one. And see the second one. And the turquoise and the greenish. Um, aqua. So I'm going to start with the darkest this time instead of doing, last time I started with pouring the clear on this side, but I think I'm going to start with the waves, um, or the ocean, sorry. Um, and I've got some good, good color here. So I know it'll cover up a lot of what's underneath, but that's okay. Cause I, I think there was too much white in this, in this section. So and if some of it does show through, that's great too, because um, it'll just show a lot of movement in the water.
Look out, here she comes The woman that I love It's too bad she'll never know Yeah, I can't tell her how I feel Because she has someone who makes her happy I'm a ghost in these walls Or at least I try to be Cause I hope that I'm not showing her How I feel for her But she won't feel the same for me I've got this picture in my mind It's just the two of us Just the two of us But I know I'll have to try Try to let her go Because she won't be mine I listen when she talks I watch her when she walks She's giving me these feelings That I've never felt before But she will never know That I love her so well She's with somebody else And I will have to let her go She will never know Like she stole my heart Without knowing she did But I guess that it will pass Yeah, I can't be the only one Who got lost inside the blue of those eyes I've gotta let her go I know it won't be easy I wanna hold her close to try, try as hard as I can, cause she'll never be mine, I listen when she talks, I watch her when she walks, she's giving me these feelings that I've never felt before, she will never know, that I love her so well, she's with somebody else and I Okay, we'll leave that. We've still got a few little things sticking up here, so I might have to do one layer of clear coat um, still. But I kind of like this. I think that there's not too many waves. You can still see the pretty colors underneath. It's got some nice uh, waving in here. I think that um, there's a little tiny bit of lacing, but I think I'm going to have to get there's some special white that I can get that will um, help to get more of the lacing. There's a little bit of lacing here and there, but it's not quite um, what I was hoping for. I was hoping for a lot more. So anyway, um, I'm, I'm quite pleased with it so far and um, yeah, so we'll leave it there. Okay, so uh, let me just get the camera in the right spot here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to just pour um, a couple of lines of wave um, and then do the rest clear. So no more coloring with the blues or anything. I really just want to create a little bit more um, uh, wave, white wave pattern. So um, I'm just gonna start, I think, right here.
final product. I painted the outside of the tray gray and uh, did a couple more layers of clear resin um, just to make sure um, every, all of these rocks were covered. And so that's the final, the final piece.